level of impacting though, right? That's our, we want you to leave, we're asking you to leave, we're still being nice to you. Uh, moving up from there is probably our career uh, direct impact round, 2581 Super Soft. It's a Kevlar bag, it's approximately a little over one ounce of number nine lead shot in it. Uh, as those came out at 900 feet per second, these are much slower, about 285 feet per second. Uh, very pliable, uh, where those wouldn't be. Uh, pretty accurate. Um, you can impact somebody all, all the way up. We have no minimum safe distance for this round. Uh, if you guys want to the bars in a correction facility, you want to hit them and just the hook with it. If it's for broken bones, yes, that distance. You can do it. Uh, the target is this, you your muscle group, thigh, buttocks, abdominals, and things like that. I'll put a few rounds down range of that. Black, which would be in our powder. We have blue, that would be CS. 
right? And then we have green that would be marking dye to mark someone. So you'll see. We'll do the close up with first. So all that powder would be either CS, it would be OC, uh, it would be uh, marking powder. hit pretty hard yeah. and that's way out of its effective range. We always talk about when we impact someone, we want to get them on the ground, but they, we've got to be close enough to get to them before they stand back up, unless we're going to keep them down with impacts. So is that a little outside my distance? For, yeah, I just wanted to put it out there for fun and games. So, Any questions about what you saw? Paul? Yep. Going hot? These are basically flashbangs coming out the end of the barrel. They had their ears. Nice time delay, right? Distract on a, on a FPLP overseas to mark the, the knock. You know, vehicles coming at you. you. Want to notify them? Don't come any closer. This is, these are aerial distraction devices. These come in 50 meter, 100, 200, and 300. These are 100 meter flashbacks. That C17 up there. <laughs> So those would be 100 meter, right? Right at. Okay. Uh, that's way high. Air, U.S. Air Force was like this. <laughs> we'll get targeted. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's got an eight gram, eight gram powder charge. 1.5 second delay on the fuse, the M201 fuse. 10 ports, top and bottom, nice and level. Um, it, uh, it's very stable. Uh, it, we've got a, a, a bunch of different safety items on this as well, and we can talk about that. You guys, we're going to make sure we give you some catalogs on some of the new stuff as well. But the M201 fuse, we've, we've got a, a, it's a mil spec fuse, military spec, US military spec. Uh, it's a military spec grenade. No distraction device. So, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you the full size one first. And then we'll show you the mini as well, and we'll do both of those. This is the mini mag. Again, same charge. This is 175 decibel, loud. Six to eight million candela in the flash in less than a millisecond. Uh, 1.63 PSI at five feet. So the pressure, what you feel, right? Now, for the purposes of out here, I'm not going to put it in the gravel. I'm going to put it behind these barriers here. You'll be able to hear it, but there won't be any rocks. Just make sure everybody has their eye protection. Make sure you have eyes and ears. So the first one is the full size flashbang. sounds louder. I'm not an engineer. The engineers would tell you that maybe it's a sharper crack because it's exiting faster because of the body. It's the same charge going off in the contained space. Um, 
you know, according to everything we've always been told and engineers that it's exactly the same. Um, the new product here. This is our two bang. This is a, this is a mini bang, two bang. Uh, as compared to the mini bang I just threw, it was 175 decibels. This is about 170 decibels each time it goes off. Trademark double bang. It's a trademark, yeah, two bang. Double bang? Double bang. That's trademark. Double bang. Like Double Tree Hotel, double, double bang. bang. Yes. Um, you get about uh, two to three million candela out of these, out of each one. PSI, do we even know? But roughly the same? Roughly the same? Roughly about the, under two PSI. I'm going to put it behind the barrier again. We're putting it behind the barricade on plat on plywood because we don't want any rocks flying around and hitting anybody. Okay. I mean, it's hard to see it. It, it, it jumped about this far. Did you, anybody guys, you guys see it? It jumped about this far before it went off on the second one. Not much. Not much at all. Now, people ask you, well, why would you use a two bang? As a tactical officer, as a SWAT officer, um, that's just giving me that lag time more, right? As long as I train with the two bang and know if I'm going to go in the first one or go in the second one, you're going to get that multiple. Uh, so, so it's a training process on it. But to me, I like it because it prolongs that lag time I get in the room moving in. Yes, both of them are patented. <laughs> How would you say it? <laughs> They're patented? I don't know. <laughs> So okay, no, no, there's no domestic manufacturer that makes a double bang and a nine bang, and we have patents on both of these. And to my knowledge, it's the only nine bang that vents from top and bottom that I've ever seen or been on the market. Why is that a safer thing? Anybody who's ever used multi-bangs, nine bangs, a lot of them vent through the side ports. Obviously, it's dangerous if you're carrying them, but it also creates a, a lot much bigger flash when you're coming into a dark room, if you're using them that way. Uh, you know, whether you're using a nine bang. Now, the idea behind a nine bang is not so much to, to distract them like a standard bang, but it's more to keep their heads down because it found, sounds like gunfire. The ca there's no cadence to it. It's boom, 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 boom. There's no cadence to it. Same, the same distance, you know, it's still a 1.5 second fuse to initiate the first one, and then it goes from there at, a ca at, at a, no cadence. It's just very uncommon. And you'll hear it. What? Uh, it's this is sta what's body made out of, Paul? The standard aluminum. Aluminum. I know this. I, I'm sorry, I haven't had time to study the specs, but it's a it's a, it's a steel construction. Yeah. It's aluminum. It's aluminum. aluminum. Thank you. Standardized aluminum steel. Aluminum to them. <laughs> a new kind of aluminum. Is that what kind of aluminum it is? Is that what you said? Patent. Aluminum. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Recycle. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, nine bang. I'm sorry. I'm rolling. So these are not exactly timed. Okay, it's arrhythmic. So it's not like they're all going off in the same sequence. I'm gonna put this out that way so they can see it. Sure. Where's the keep the camera in your face? Yeah, it's fine. All right, it's gonna go that way. <laughs> okay, so honestly, yeah, the first one. Okay, as long as we stay right here, make sure I have a, a good transition. Let me shoot that one. Okay, here, go ahead. So, here's your 40 millimeter flashbang. So, four, five, five, seven. So, that's a foam baton. Let's try and hit the, the can in the back. Yeah, go way out with it. Aim, aim to the left a little for the win. Ooh. Set left. Well, that's, that's, way, that's way outside of the effect of rain, but you can see the accuracy on it though. Skip fire into it. Okay. 
Yep. Hey, Brian, can you have him flip what? sides so I can get the angle going? All right. Can you, that? Can you, can you flip sides with the shooter just so I can get a couple shots straight up? Okay. Thank you. Not shooting. 12 gauge or 40? Okay. Uh, go ahead. This is a super sock. This is a 40 millimeter like with the 12 gauge of the super sock, but in the 40. Try the other 40. Behind the trigger. Yep, you're off. Yeah. Uh, it's like uh, everybody back on the muscle. I don't want them bounce, you know. Okay. Okay, uh, 45 57 rounds. Killed him. Bad. <laughs> killed him. I killed it. Target down. <laughs> okay, thank you. You're welcome. There's three banks. We're going to shoot from the middle one so that we keep the angle inside here. The angles are 10, 20, and 30 degrees. So you can start with the top ones, do the over people, and then lower and then lower. The banks are actuated. With this controller here, very simple controller, we have a pawn off switch and arms system. Safety is a trigger here, then you fire whatever bank you want. There's a light here that you can see what it does. And then there's two lines of fire that says, if I hold it in, I'll fire in three seconds, or if it happens in fast as well. Okay. So, good. Lock that up. Okay. Uh, okay. That's the Venom system, you know, powered by a battery pack on there to be powered by the vehicle it's mounted on. This is all electronic timing. There's no power pack in here. Um, and, you know, basically anything that, any payload that we have in the 7 or 40, we've been able to shoot out of a, a Venom or a V10, which is a 40 millimeter version of this. Did you want to show them this, Jack? Switch it over to the 40 millimeter. Go 
we have to do is pull the cassette out and put it in the other one. So this is 40 millimeter. Now, what we're shooting out of this one is a 100 meter flashbang, rifled barrels. They have much better accuracy. So I'm going to, I'm going to shoot one, see where it goes, I'm going to shoot the rest, and they'll, they'll go in the same spot. But this is the same rifle and profile as an M2 for your end of the Line tight. So those are the 100 meter flashbacks. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pull that one out. So those are just the flashbacks now. Our smokes are pretty big. Our very first one. From the pellets I shot, obviously you just get a bigger round with more pellets. Uh, we move all the way into 40 where you have the same thing. So the, the, the version of that 2581 I just shot, this is the 40 millimeter version. It's the 4581. We have a 3581 as well. This is a 4581. Is it a pretty good hit? Uh, you know, it's, it's pliable, but you, as you can see, it hit pretty hard. Um, as far as range goes, I'll go to the second barrel. And my range here, from the red line to the first line, um, so I was full 20 yards. It's not part of that range. Um, and then 30 yards, the other one. But what we'll do is so 30 yards. stuff. Now that we we make an 8 gram load, our advantage over Def Tech and some others is they make 15 gram loads. We make 8 gram loads in our full size, so that allows us to put an 8 gram load in our mini. Right? So no difference. Everybody has ears on, right? We'll do the full size first. So it was flipping, but you notice it didn't jump left or right. Pretty stable. I can't really put a ground burst here. You guys might get peppered with rocks, so we could do it back there, but it might be a little uncomfortable for you. Some people tell you the mini sound louder. 
technically they're not louder. Jack can probably tell us over there why they sound louder. Uh, they're about the same now. It's, it's close now? All right, 7290. That's 175 decibels, five feet. 1.63 PSI is the pressure you feel. Well under any threshold, under that five PSI threshold that we worry about. Uh, six to eight million candela. Average flashlight in your face is about 100,000 or so. Six to eight million candela, quite a bit. Obviously flashbangs are used for, for uh, you know, uh, pushing on a structure in a SWAT environment. Uh, also corrections, breaking up that fight or you know, maybe doing an offshore rescue in a, in a crowd control situation or a downed civilian. So there's a lot of things that, that applications use, are used for. Um, those, those standard flashbangs, they have 10 vents top and bottom, nice and even, equal. Uh, M201 fuse, safety clip, confidence clip on the side. Um, to me, best flashbang on the market, in my opinion. Um, we, we sell a lot of these, they do well. Any questions about those? So our two new products that you guys haven't seen are a low roll mini bang, same size, but it's low roll, but it's a two banger. There's two charges in there. Uh, this is brand new. Uh, first bang goes just like the normal, 1.5 seconds, mil spec, 1.5 seconds. Uh, second bang goes within a second of that. Uh, you get it, instead of 175 decibels like this one, you get about 170 out of, out of each of these, which I think is pretty good. Um, you get about 3 million candela out of each of these, equaling pretty much these. You guys can move up this way if you want. There's ears back there too. Just make sure you put some eyes on too. There's some glasses back there. Please. Um, this, is, this is available now. And uh, I think it's going to be very popular. As a, as a tack guy, I mean, I love this bag. And we'll, we'll show you it in just a second. I'll throw it down. And this is the, the part number on this is 7290 2, correct? Pretty nifty stuff. Um, Box for various reasons. The idea behind this, nine individual bangs, they go off at no cadence, sounds like gunfire. Um, so we talked about the, the normal bang and the two bang as far as uh, uh, DB on these. They're still in the 160s, high 160s, um, which I think is pretty impressive for nine bangs. You're still getting some good PSI out of it. Uh, you're still getting about two to three million candel out of each one. Uh, it, it, very lightweight body. You guys can, once we get done here, you can hang on to one if you want and look at it. Um, but it is the only patented top, bottom, venting, multi-bang that we know of anywhere. It's a big deal. Uh, and if you guys, are, anybody ever seen a multi-bang before? Maybe? Yes? Most of them vent on the sides. So where your hand would be is where they would vent. The issue there is we throw that in a room and I'm at the door or whatever, is that bang's going off, all that flame's coming up in the air. And basically, it's lighting up the whole room. It's, it, you really can't, so as an operator, even, it's kind of blinding. This one venting top, out the sides, you're not getting that big flash. I mean, you're getting the small coming out the sides, but it's venting out this way. Um, that's a big advantage if you're going to use one of those, that's for sure. All right, so I'll throw it down range. Paul, you want me to do this one in here? No, I'm kidding. Any questions about those? How does he set up for his video? Oh, you Trying to get back a little further, I'll just pan up. Sure. Ready? Yeah. What do you What do you want? Full? Just a full volley? Well, however you want to do it, I'm just going to try to catch it on video.
warnings, flashbangs. Right. Shoot once so he sees where it goes. Cool. Let her rock. That's it? Yeah. Rock it again.